The ruffler attachment is used to create perfectly spaced pleats and gathers. Where a gathering foot is simply designed to create fullness in soft, lightweight fabrics, the ruffler makes uniform pleats at set intervals. It can be used for lightweight as well as medium weight fabrics. The main parts of the ruffler attachment are the ruffle regulator, the adjusting screw, the fabric feed plate, sometimes called a ruffling blade, the separator blade, and the fabric guide. Near the top of the attachment is the ruffle regulator. This is used to determine the frequency of the tucks. You can set it to tuck every 12th stitch, every 6th stitch, every stitch, or it can be set to zero if you don't want it to ruffle at all. By turning the adjusting screw at the front of the ruffler, the amount of fabric pushed into the attachment each time it tucks is more or less, depending on where the screw is set. Remove the presser foot and presser foot holder by loosening the screw at the side of the presser bar. Thread the top of the machine and bobbin before attaching the ruffler to the machine. Set the ruffler in place on the presser bar, making sure that the fork of the arm is correctly positioned around the needle clamp. Tighten the screw securely. To place fabric into the ruffler, bring the fabric into the fabric guide so it is underneath the prong, but over the separator blade. The fabric feed plate should be resting on the fabric. Lightly push the fabric feed plate toward the back, lower the presser foot, then lower the needle into the fabric and sew. To attach a ruffle to a flat fabric simultaneously, place the fabric to be ruffled into the attachment as usual, but then place the fabric that is to remain flat underneath the separator blade. When you are finished sewing, the ruffle will be stitched to the edge of the flat fabric.